Taurus. Taurus, welcome. We're going to do a general read for you guys today. Let's see what can come out for you. Ooh, Ace of Coins, Ace of Cups. What? Ace of Coins, Ace of Cups, Five of Swords, Ten of Coins, and Justice. You've been given... <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Sorry, this... <laughs> you may not like this. Um, and it's kind of got a pun behind it. Um, you've been given a bum steer. <laughs> I don't know where that, this is probably for a very, very small portion of you, but, and I don't know why it's making me laugh because I'm a tourist too. You've been given a bum steer. Especially when it came to a lasting connection. Financially, it's okay. But with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, it's like you've been given a new shot of the, at, at a relationship and something that could really flourish into this Ten of Coins. Except we have the Justice card here. And the Justice card says there's a few dealings that you need to get over with. For some of you, that could be just breaking off a current connection with somebody that has maybe not been the greatest for a long period of time. Um, for others of you, yeah, it's just kind of cutting somebody out. Not even cutting them out, but just being done with that relationship. Acknowledging it for what it is and leaving it at that and then going and being able to have this other, this other sort of um, offer, if you will. Now the Queen of Pentacles shows up with the Nine of Wands, followed by Temperance, Empress, and Strength. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is also a card of Taurus. And with the Nine of Wands, this desire is to be able to really not have to put in the amount of effort. Whoa, sorry, ringing in the ear now. Um, Must be a download coming in. Anyway, let's continue on with this. The Queen of Coins, the Nine of Wands, Temperance, Empress, and Strength. You manage to maintain your composure and you wanting to be successful again the way that you've been in the past. Um, you're one of those individuals that really works hard you can take a lick in and keep on ticking but with the temperance here we see that those injuries injuries now that doesn't mean physical but that can be mental or spiritual or emotional um, those types of things um, will be lessened it won't because of your strength you're not going to feel the full brunt of it um, and with the Empress here this is still you maintaining that serenity that calm that uh, ability to really um, I hate this word be abundant I hate that word I hate it, I hate it. Um, because it's just overused all the time but I see this as and this looks very saintly okay this looks like the Mother Mary type of thing but being in that um, ability to be where you want to be to feel um, the fullness of life and what it has to offer around you and continue working with your strength don't let your strength dip um, the outcome is the nine of cups five of cups page of swords ten of cups your wish is fulfilled and i really like this card 
normally it's not a big deal for me but i love how these two individuals are together and they're happy and they're in love and i love that um crave that in my own life uh five of cups page of swords ten of cups somebody you may have regrets of the past and you've seen your way through and i see this as a reward going from the nine of cups to the ten of cups for what you've had to bear now for some of you this nine of cups is being able to be in that energy of you know that sort of blissed out state for some of you i want to say bubble and something or someone where you've regretted what they've let go of and we see the page of swords and the ten of cups they're still wondering if this is still a possibility wow okay that's a lot of cards we're gonna take it <sighs> they're all out so we have the chariot followed by the eight of cups the eight of wands the king of wands the four of wands the hangman and the three of wands you're focusing your drive has been really uh, a good factor for you um, when we look at the the things that are working for you that has worked for you the deliberateness of your choices now we have the eight of cups the eight of wands and the king of wands whoever you've walked away from or whatever you've walked away from will soon start to break loose there can be communication everything can start to just move along uh, with the king of wands i see this as somebody that was sort of a player that left we have the hangman three of wands and the four of wands they may be changing their mind and waiting to see if you'll come back this is a weird read doris the two of cups is what you don't see Ooh, what <laughs> okay the devil has come out a lot lately um the two of cups is an energetic connection this devil energy uh, followed by the seven of wands you've kind of isolated yourself from it and i hear the word stoic with the emperor and the five of wands despite whoa the connection here that connection seems to be with the pisces they may be coming in hot and heavy but the CU is being uh, very calculating with the Queen of Swords here. Not that you're going to be cold, but you're going to look at this rationally. You're not going to let your heart get in the way because there's the possibility of a wonderful new start. And we'll see how this plays out for you. I'd love to know. I'd really love to know, Taurus, how this plays out for you. Um, that's what I've got for you today. Best of luck this week, Taurus. We'll see you next time. Thanks for being here.